All right, hey guys. So I'm going to sell my keyboard, but my keys, my keycaps, actually have some sticker residue on them. So we're going to use WD-40 and uh, see whether we can actually get it off, so we can sell the keyboard along with these keycaps. And apparently, for most uh, plastic things, if you just leave WD-40 to sit there for a minute, apparently the residue is just going to come completely off. So yeah, let's see if these keycaps are fine. Let's try the letter B. This is double shot uh, PT plastic by the way. Just going to get that out of there. Use some alcohol. It's It comes with a bit of water. Mixed it in like that. Alright. And then I'm probably just going to soak it in alcohol or something after this. And yeah. Doesn't seem like there are many uh, pieces of residue left. If I just rub my hand on it, I don't feel anything. So it does seem like WD-40 does work with uh, keycaps, especially double, uh, double shot PBT ones. Uh, so yeah, but... Um, I might not, you might not want to try this because it could do something to your keyboard if you don't actually clean these off enough, so, yeah. Yeah, so just washing these things out, making sure they're okay. Yeah, they should be fine these on your keyboard, just make sure you wash off the WD-40 afterwards with some good old hot water and soap. And yeah, you should be good. But if you're using WD-40 just to specifically wash off the individual keycaps, kind of with that lubricant to get off that sticker residue. Uh, it should be pretty good. So we'll test and see how it works out with our um, WK68 keyboard. Also I mentioned uh, kind of another important thing is to actually soak them in hot water without the soap. But yeah, these things are double shot PBT, so they are pretty good. And again, I'm feeling Literally no stick residue on it. Very good for uh, PBT plastic so far. Very smooth. All right, guys. So let's actually pour these things onto the towel and see how dry they are. Ooh, a little bit of water. That's okay. They'll dry out a bit. I mean, they're already mainly dried out. So yeah, look at that. This Yuki. Oh man, this thing is really smooth. So it really does smooth out those keycaps. Um, I think the biggest con of these things is that they might remove um, whatever lube may possibly be from the key switches, which might not be a good idea. But yeah, you just kind of want to uh, leave them out to dry upside down, because of course that little place where they're going to be going into the key switches, obviously it's not going to see much air after you actually put these things back on the switches. But yeah, this is just really what you do to clean them from my experience. Yeah, so it should be pretty good. Alright, so we have the main uh, keyboard here with all of our switches. Um, obviously, I'm not digging into anything that's like PCB level or anything like that. I um, mean, I'm not the best keyboard modder. But, you know, just for the customer that I want to sell this keyboard to on eBay, I made sure to kind of vacuum in. Um, any, of course, dirty spots in between these switches. So that's kind of the important thing you want to do. But they're really, really smooth, really, really cool. We're going to do a bit of a sound test um, after using WD-40 to slightly lube these things, but also just most importantly to use them on the top, not the bottom. Because remember, WD-40 can actually attract dirt and stuff uh, in the keycaps and the key switches, which is why you guys shouldn't directly use it on a keyboard. And when you're actually applying it to any part of the keyboard, uh, especially, you know, the keycaps or anything, uh, make sure to thoroughly wash off that WD-40 because it's like a mineral oil grease uh, remover thing. So, yeah, it's like a mineral oil base. So it can get very slippery um, and sometimes sticky if you don't move it uh, or remove it in time. So, all right, let's put on these keycaps onto the keyboard.
Okay, so so far the keyboard seems to be working. All right, so the sound test is kind of the same. It basically still sounds the same. Um, so if we just want to type something in, yeah, everything seems to be working. I'm doing this with one hand. Yeah. So overall, the keys seem to be working. Everything seems to be fine. The most important thing is just to dry it off when you're done. Um, but the keyboard itself is pretty good. Uh, after two years of use. So, yeah. So, it's good for selling. But just don't directly use WD-40 on the keyboard. And make sure to get all the WD-40 off um, after you use it. So, yeah. But that's about it. God bless, guys.